Hey guys, my name is Barry and welcome back to another very exciting tutorial. Today, what we're going to talk about is a completely new free plugin for Nuke, which I developed yesterday. And it's for a condition like this. In most cases like this, we have a, a lot of different uh, you know, elements and things going on here. And you know, the lightning will in interact with the environment and the vehicle like this ship. So once I want to change the, like the color or the intensity of this element, it will automatically have effect for the other element in the scene. So I want to change them together. So in this kind of uh, situation, uh, my way of creating this is create a new uh, no op node and I will put some of the parameter I want to change uh, you know with the uh, feedback or something like that I will extract those parameters into this no op node and I will link them together but you know the process is pretty uh, complicated like if we wanna, if we wanna do that, I need to, you know, uh, create a new parameter, a knob. Like let's say this is the uh, color. <coughs> let's say this is the color of the uh, lightning, and I name it color here. Uh, maybe I I need to change that into the color knob. Sorry. Okay, color. <clears throat> All right, the first step is this, and I need to link the color I wanted into this knob. So every single time I want to do uh, stuff like this, I need to find the node I want, like the uh, portal. Let's say we have a grid here, and I w what I need to do is I open up this panel and. I find this node and open this panel and hold control to drag it, drag the parameter to here so that I can get my color here, right? So every time I <coughs> create something or I composite anything into this, I will repeat this process and it take a lot of time. So that's why I developed this plugin. All right, let me show you how to install this plugin first. Um, I've already uploaded into the Nukepedia and it calls database, yeah, database data control center, but it's still on the uh, the queue of um, approval. So they, they might need uh, another couple of days to uh, came out. So once you get it, you will get a file like um, like this. You will get a zip file, and there's a folder called database, and you will need to extract that extract that into your Nuke environment uh, folder. It could be your .nuke folder or simply the Nuke path of of your Nuke uh, environment path. So you just need to extract the file there and add a line of code nuke.plugin add path and you will put your um, just yeah just put this line under your init uh, dot init dot py and it will work perfectly all right so um, let me show you how exactly it works all right this is a completely new empty nuke so basically how it works is uh, exactly like what I said. It's a kind of no op, but it's a group node instead of group, uh, instead of a no op node. So once you install this plugin, you will get a new node called database. Just type in database and you will get this node. And it has no input and it's a group node. Open it up, you will see four different buttons and those three buttons are for creating new knobs and this is absolutely clean all the knobs. So we can create a knob 
like we want to control the uh, intensity of something so we name it intensity and hit OK so now we get a intensity knob and we can change the value of that so how to use it you will notice that once you install the the plugin you will have another option in the right click menu and here you will see all the parameters you created from this node and you need to mention that this could be the only node uh, of a named database in your node graph or it won't find it it has to be named database no database one or two or something like that just database all right so um, we can link the parameter here like we can create a gray node and we simply just right click on the parameter we need to link to the intensity knob and find the uh, database and find the knob you created if you don't see your knob here just hit the update option and it will automatically force update all the options and knobs you created from this node so once you have done that you will definitely see your knob here so we just click intensity and now you will see a little green lines here connect them together so we can hit alt and e to hide the uh, expression link okay let's create a checkerboard and see what's happening okay so uh now it's completely black we can just uh, adjust this value to control all the, the uh, uh, all the parameters that are linked to, to this knob so we have three different types of knob we can create from this no uh, from this node and this is double double value double float value and this is integer and this is uh, this is RGB knob so we can create them uh, one by one or simply just choose what you need so I will show you all of them so I create one for each uh, type of those so this is the integer so I can make it like a random seed or something but remember you can't have uh, spaces here or any um, non-English words here so just name it uh, in the rule and it will be okay so um, mostly the integer will be used in some cases like uh, if you have a particle emitter then you will find all the random seed is the integer knob so you can create a link from this uh, from this knob so now if I change this value and this value will be updated automatically so um, I delete it and see what I can do with this let's say we clean out the knob first and create a knob called warm and I create another one called cool so in this case let's say we have a transition of lighting conditions from warm uh, environment to a cold uh, cool environment so we have those two parameters <coughs> and let's get two different uh, two different environment for the scene let's say this is the warm color like uh, a object you have warm light on that and you have cool light on that so you can use this to control all of them and if you have uh, you know multiple objects like characters and props and you know scenes anything you can create uh, the links all uh, link them all together to this knob let's say we have this and we have a cool light so we can add a multiply under the light so we can link them like this is the warm light I can link that to warm and also I can duplicate that and change this to cool 
All right, so now let's put them together. Use a merge node with the plus operation so we can plus them together. And now if I change the value of those two, and you can see the difference, right? And, and I can also create another knob called intensity to create, uh, to, to um, manipulate the uh, intensity of the scene. So now we can create a multiply node and change this to the intensity. So now they are all linked together. So if I want to change the intensity of the whole scene, I can use this. And if I want to change the warm or the cool color, I can use this. And also I can link them together and plus a one minus in front of the value. So now if I change the value to warm to one, so it's now becoming warm. And if I change warm to zero, and the cool will be become one. And it will be a perfect transition. And of course you can break the rules and you know create your own animation here. So now let's see what I can do in this case. <coughs> I can create a database here. And now what I want to do is I can link all those elements together and including this interact uh, interact light of the uh, lightning from the ship. And also I want to link the um, engine fire. I want to change the color of this engine fire and the interactive light of, uh, of the engine. And also, I, I want to create a knob to control when to, you know, show the, the portal. So we have three things to control. The, uh, the first one is the lightning color. And the second one is the engine. Uh, sorry, this, this need to be a um, color knob. So the first one is the lightning. Color. And the second one is uh, engine color. And the third one, it could be a float value because we want to change the intensity of uh, the light and the um, you know the, the portal. So we can change this into intensity. And it's a float value. Uh, let's get them out to one so we don't miss anything. All right. Uh, okay. Um, and as you can see, I've already did something before, and this is before this plugin was made. I create a center control to control those parameters. So now I will disable them and see how easy I can create that with this knob, uh, with the plugin. All right, so now I can uh, give you a brief of this. So this is the portal world, is behind the portal, is the other, uh, the another world I wanna go to uh, through the portal. And this is the portal Right, this is uh, de uh, the default portal. And this is the uh, foreground nebula. And this layer is the uh, interactive light of the portal and the lightning. And this is the lightning. All right, so let's link them together. Let's create a multiply node, put it here and this could be the switch of the uh, the portal, right? Let's put it here. So this is the first one we're gonna change. Uh, yep. So let's link this to the intensity. <clears throat> All right, the link is created, and now I just all I need to do is uh, duplicate this node to anywhere I want linked together. 
this is the interactive lightning <clears throat> and also this is the lightning and what is this oh this is uh, this is a fog <clears throat> and this is the real lightning uh, glow effect so I'll, I also want to disable this and <clears throat> copy the node here paste it here so um, yeah this is the end of this so now if I want uh, I want to change the intensity of the portal let's go a frame like this yeah here's the uh, portal I've created so now I just change the intensity parameter and the portal will go away right and also I want to change the light for the ship so they are connected together right I want to change uh, I want to find a frame to do that let's see which frame is uh, the most visible like uh, like this one so let's uh, let's find the light yeah this seems to be uh, one of them and I remember there's another yeah this so I can create two different um, copies of that node and also this one no this one yeah Okay, so let's now go back to the result. Okay, now you can see the light is shut off. If I change the intensity to one, and now you can see them together. And also I wanna bring the flare into this family and also this uh, blink effect uh, sorry glint, glint effect I'm sorry English is not my na native speaking in uh, languages so forgive me <laughs> okay I wanna find the uh, flare uh, the flare is here I just paste this node here uh, yeah this is the, the flare and also the glint effect, I believe it's um, it's here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's just paste it here. All right. So now, if I change the value to zero, and see what's happening, we shut everything off, right? We can change the timing any any time I want. And also I can change the color of them together. So all I need to do is link the lightning color into wherever it will be affected. So let's pick up a frame. Let's, uh, let's just change the color of the, uh, the flare. And I believe it's here. Yeah, here is uh, how I change the color of the flare. So I can link this knob into the lightning color. <clears throat> and if this knob has a value before and I link them together, I need to close this button and re-enable re it. So now the color will be controlled by this. Yeah, if I change it into a uh, the reddish color and it will be reddish so now let's go back in this frame <coughs> because this is uh, more obvious so now let's find anything can be you know related to the color of the knob uh, of, of the lightning color <coughs> let's say yeah this is uh this is no color and the glow effect gives the first color of the lightning so now i change this to link to the lightning color 
and also I re-enable this knob so now you can see the color will be changed uh, from the first node from the database node sorry <coughs> and also the uh, interactive light is also changed now if I change the color of uh, this knob let's say a uh, greenish color and now you can see the greenish color from the interactive light yeah so let's go back and continue to change the color of uh, the effective object so now um, yeah this also be changed because this is uh, a, multi a this is a multiply operation uh, the color will be automatically updated from uh, what I got from the lightning yeah so um, here's the ship also I need to change the color of this thing let's go back to the frame we change the color uh, the intensity of the ship so let's let's go back to <coughs> the color and we create a multiply here link it to the uh, lightning color knob and re-enable it and also copy and paste it here so now we can change the color together <coughs> but for this one I think I might need to uh, you know do another thing because this is has uh, this has a original color like bluish color so I need to change that into a white color and in the gain knob I can link them into the lightning color and re enable it so now you can see the color will be changed it's better than this so I oh sorry so I delete this node and link this into the pipe so now let's see what's happening here <coughs> alright you will see the color will be changed from the knob which we defined before let's say we have a yellowish yeah this changing the color of the interactive light of the lightning renders and let's say we have a blue lightning yeah this changes automatically and we still have things need to change like this glint effect let's find the uh, yeah, it's here and then we create a uh, multiply node and link the color into the lightning color and we enable it all uh, right you can see the glint effect has been changed has been changed right and also here's the uh, the final color correction of the lightning because we have uh, enhanced the color here I believe yeah so we can also change this into the lightning color and also this one yeah Okay, also the uh, glow effect color, and we can change that into the color we set. Oh, don't forget to re enable that. And also this one. <coughs> and notice that um, I'm recreating those uh, parameters because I have already did this project before if you're creating a new one you can directly you know create a great node and link the colors here and re-enable it and it will automatically update from where you um, create the knob so it won't be so hard to you know create those color links i mean it looks pretty complex 
is only because I've already did the whole project and I, I need to update them uh, one by one. If you're starting from the scratch, you have to create those color correction even though you don't have this link. So if you have those links set, set it with this node and the only thing you need to do is just link them together. You don't need to change the color anymore. All right, so it seems pretty nice. It looks like uh, we've already set everything together. So now it's over saturated. I need to change the color to a more reasonable color. So now we can see the effect we've already did. Right, like let's change it into a kind of greenish color and see what's happening. And you can see the color is changing automatically and it works pretty per, pretty fine. Right, so let's jump over to the frame where we can see all the lightning and the, the lightning flows. Yeah, so now you can see what we changed from this one into this one and all you need to do is just change the color of this node yeah like uh, the orange one yeah they looks better and let's go back to the flare right let's see what's happening Yeah, you can see the color is automatically updated and it works perfectly fine, I think. Like the glint effect and the interactive light and the specular, uh, everything, it works fine for me. And also I can change the engine fire because we have a engine color knob here we created. So now let's link them together and, and this time I won't say anything about this because I'm not very good at English and when I saying that I will make a lot of mistakes <laughs> so let's do this And now I can change the color of the engine, right? And also this light, and I believe it's a emission or anything. Where did I add the effect here? Oh, I believe it's uh, the engine light, right? Yeah. So this is the engine interactive light, so I can change the color here. Also link the, uh, the color of the color ref node. By the way, the color ref node will change the color into whatever you want. Just you can choose which, uh, which axis you want to change the color, the hue, the saturation and the value. In this case, we only change the hue and it will change the hue into the color we picked and keep the saturation and value of themselves. So now let's link this parameter into our engine color and also it will be automatically updated. Let's re-enable that. Yeah. So now if I change the database, you will see the light is changing. And also let's see what else I can change? Yeah, here. Here's the uh, <clears throat> glowing fat. And also we can change the color of this into the engine color. Re-enable that. And also this. Probably we need to change the color first and change the glowing color next to it. That will be more easy to control. 
Yeah, so now I've already linked them together and see the final result. Yeah, this is more uh, oversaturated. I can change the color here from like we want a purplish engine. And now you can see how the light is updating automatically. So for the engine light, I don't prefer a oversaturated color because it will change the intensity of the core and it's not very natural. So I will lower down the saturation a little bit. It will seem more natural. Yeah, I believe that's exactly what I wanted from the color so I can now I can freely change the color I want so if the director say oh I want the I, I love I love the orange lightning effect but I think the uh, engine fire is too green I want kind of a reddish engine so it looks more cooler so I can just simply change the color from the database and um, there you have it. And let's go back to some frame. We can easily see the interactive light color, like here. And this is the core, the emission kind of light and the glowing effect. And this is the interactive light, right? So now we change back to our comp. So now you can see a very evil light from the comp. And if I want to change it to more sci-fi style, I can change it to blue. Just change the color to blue. And all the lighting setup will automatically uh, update it. And if I want to go back to the color style I set before, I just simply change the engine fire into red uh, maybe this is too red yeah this looks great oh this if i want if, if i want a more natural and realistic look i can change it into a yellowish so it will be looks more like a fire maybe more red yeah this looks uh, pretty natural and neutral <clears throat> so now I can change the uh, lightning color let's go back to frame like this wait a minute yeah so now the color is uh, completely this exactly the same color with the engine fire so now I need to change the lightning color into blue. Yeah, so we can change that very easily, like more greenish blue, cyan, with what color? Just change whatever you want, right? And it's pretty simple. And also you can see the uh, interactive light changes with this, right? All right, so that's the whole video about this and hope you can find useful in this video. And also this plugin is 100% free and I think it will be available in a couple of days. So just, mm, I don't know, wait for a few days. <laughs> and get this uh, plugin and have have fun okay so uh, my name is barry and i will see you in the next video bye bye